Hi, and welcome to Word Life. The deaths of two people are dominating the news. The first over the weekend was Václav Havel, who was a prominent figure in the fall of communism in the former Czechoslovakia. He was seen as a hero by many people, and the figurehead for freedom from oppression. He, along with others, played a major role in the dismantling of the Eastern Bloc and ultimately an end to the Cold War between East and West. We should be thankful for such people. As we know, blessed are the peacemakers. The other death is the complete opposite. Kim Jong-il, the enigmatic leader of North Korea, has also died. He suffered a heart attack and the news of his death has been delivered as only North Korea could. A shocked announcer told the nation that their great leader had died. He has, we assume, been replaced by his son, Kim Jong-un. Little is known about what goes on in North Korea. Kim Jong-il was a dictator, but fanatically supported by his subjects. When any dictator dies, the fear of a power struggle always raises its head. Again, we need to pray for the peacemakers. In Word Life, Paul is explaining the good news. Now I know that probably doesn't come as too much of a shock. It's what he always seems to be doing. But the thing is, despite what happens in the world, and despite what happens in Paul's life, he is always telling others about Jesus, both in his words and his actions. Things may change, people may come and go, but the good news of Jesus goes on and on. I'll see you soon. Bye.